Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 10, lesson six, or sorry, lesson eight. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So um I want you to understand um that when we're doing these, okay, we're gonna multiply that by itself. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. Okay, so three times three, multiplying it by nine. Okay, when it's a fraction, you're going to multiply the denominator by that number. Okay, so three times three is nine. The top stays a one, one ninth. Okay, four times four, 16. Okay, five times five, 25. Okay, you guys do six, or yeah, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I promise, not hard. Okay. You're going to multiply by 3, multiply by 2, multiply that denominator. Okay, you guys can totally do this. Let me zoom back out so y'all can see again. Okay, you guys can totally do this. Okay, we're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do a lesson check, just like always. Okay, just remember. Okay. All right, we're going to go down and do this spiral review. It says, Gina made a rectangular quilt that was five feet wide and six feet long. She used yellow fabric for 30% of the quilt. What was the area of the yellow fabric? All right. So, first, the quilt is five by six. So, the area of the whole quilt is 30 because it's base times height, right? Okay, so 30 percent, which transfers to 0.3 of, okay, 30 is, okay, so I'm just going to put 0.3 because 0.30 is the same thing, okay, 3 times 0, 0, 3 times 3, Nine, okay, so we're gonna go in one time for that decimal, one time, that would be nine. Nine square feet, okay? Nine feet squared, because we multiply feet by feet, square feet, okay? All right. Graph Y is greater than three, on the number line. There is no underlining line here, so we do not fill it in. So we are gonna put a circle on three, okay? We are then going to fill in the arrow that goes greater than. It says Y is greater than three, okay? Open circle, not filled in, arrow going greater than, okay? All right. The parallelogram below is made from two congruent trapezoids. What is the area of the shaded trapezoid? So here's the thing, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and find the area of the parallelogram, and then I'm going to cut it in two because it's just two identical trapezoids, okay? So 50 times 70, or sorry, 50 plus 70, 25. Bleh. 50 plus 25 is 75. I'm thinking like quarters. If you have 50 cents at a quarter, which is 25 cents, so 75, so 75, and then it's 35 high. Okay, so we're going to multiply those, all right? And then I'm just going to cut it in half. Okay, all right, 5 times 5, 25, carry that 2. 5 times 7, 35, plus 2, 37. Okay, tick, tack, toe, 3 times 5 is 15, carry that 1. 3 times 7 is 21, plus one more is 22. Boom, add them up. Okay. 5, 12, carry the 1, 6, and 2. Okay. Now, I don't have any decimals. I don't have to go in. I'm going to put 2, 6, 2, 5 right there. I'm going to put a decimal and the decimal going up because that is not an even number and I'm dividing it by 2. I'm going to wind up having to put a 0. I'm going to go ahead and do that, okay? Two goes into even numbers evenly. If it's not an even number, then you're going to need to put a zero, okay? So two goes into two. 
one time. One times two is two, subtract is zero. Zero is definitely smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down my six. Two goes into six, three times. Three times two is six, we're golden, okay? All right, I'm gonna bring down this two. Two goes into two, one time. One times two is two, subtract, we're golden. I'm gonna bring down my five. Two goes into five, two times, two times two is four. Have one left over and bring down that last zero. Two goes into 10, five times, two times five is 10, subtract is zero. Okay, so one, three, one, two, point five millimeter squared. You multiplied millimeters by millimeters, it is millimeters squared. Okay. Can you go ahead and put the format in for um, a formula in for finding the area of a trapezoid? You absolutely can. I don't want to. It's a lot more work than what I just did, okay? So pause it, write down your work, do what you need to do to fill in your work, okay? A rectangle has a length of 24 inches and a width of 36 inches. A square with a side length of five inches is cut from the middle of and removed. What's the area of the figure that remains? So, first, I need to do the 24 by 36, okay? Okay. Then, I'm going to remove a square, so it's 5 by 5, because they're the same, okay? So, 5 times 5 is 25, so whatever my answer is, I'm going to remove 25 from it, okay? All right. 4 times 6 is 24, carry our 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 more is 14. Okay. Tick, tack, toe. 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 more, 7. Add them up. 4, 6, 8. No decimals to move in, so we're good. And now I have 864, and I'm going to subtract. 25. Okay, so 4 can't take away 5. I'm going to borrow 1, making that 14. 14 take away 5 is 9. 5 minus 2 is 3, and I'm going to bring my 8 down. So 839, it's in inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. Okay, all right, y'all, thanks for hanging out for 10.8. Come on back for 10.9. See you soon.